So yesterday I talked to a lawyer about this problem with the secondhand smoke being outdoors and the lawyer has allowed me to not pay rent because the landlord decided to throw an eviction notice at disabled people <clears throat> during the coronavirus. <clears throat> secondhand smoke is sick and it makes people sick. We all know the scientific truth. So in getting over a cat fight over a cigarette and being surrounded by cigarettes for two years, this little breathwork teacher's voice is finally broken. I can't hit my notes. Ah, uh, they're not there. <clears throat> Having to have the police called on me while I'm in an anaphylactic shock due to the inhalation of a cigarette smoke from, I don't know, 75 feet away. I almost called the paramedics. paramedics. <clears throat> Instead, as a breathwork teacher, I calmed myself down because I teach people how to not have panic attacks. So I had an anaphylactic shock, then a panic attack, called a friend, crying, and knew because of having to yell after multiple neck surgeries to save my life, yelling is never a good idea. <clears throat> Therefore, telling someone far across the street to put their cigarette out cost me my voice and therefore I can't do my job which is to sing to you and to teach you breathing now with a voice like this it sounds terrible so I ask all of you for your time and forgiveness because I will be coming out and if my voice sounds a little bit raspy <clears throat> your breathwork teacher, singer, songwriter artist can't actually sing now over secondhand smoke or speak as much as I would like to be doing work at home and teaching you um, as everything that I can I have to give it a little time and wait for my voice to return so please bear with us and we'll get back to teaching breath work and music as soon as possible pray the voice returns all creators all things we are one nation now, listening to the voice of all things, all people. And those of you, perhaps, who are considering not <clears throat> being married to secondhand smoke or even taking smoke from tobacco into your throats and down into your lungs, we already know what it does. And so my fight is against pollution for your lungs are what God gave you to help you not pollute your body. Your lungs are the engine of your entire body's exhaust system. So therefore, the better you breathe, the deeper, the more soft, easy and effortless you breathe fully into your body, the more life you bring into your body. Your job is to be God's breath and the now you're being asked to clean up life. We have all created this. We are all guilty together for what we know is all that we have been given and all that we can do is for us to survive and help each other. We are here to steward the earth, not kill it. So allow us to stop polluting, listen to this beautiful silence, and know that oxygen Oxygen itself, pure oxygen given to us freely every day. <clears throat> the earth is begging for fresh oxygen. The animals and creatures are begging for fresh, new, repaired earth. And it is us to up now the game. We have to game up, game on, hit the wall, look at ourselves in the mirror, look at what we've done, believe in our own selves, Take deep breaths. Stand in the station that God gave you. No matter where you are from the street, to your home, to your cell, we are all imprisoned now in a belief 
that we are going to be losing lots and lots of humanoids. We are not. <clears throat> so long as we can utilize our awareness, we are practicing distance. We are doing everything that God has asked us to and the creators have given us this opportunity to reform and recreate not only ourselves from within, our own temples to purify our thoughts, minds and bodies with love and harmony, to bring our families together and to create a new world peace. For this order God gave in your own Bibles, in your own beliefs, the ancestors have spoken and yet there is greed still on our backs. Let us take the greed out of the greedy and let us pray for a new solution of clean air, water, and clean bodies, clean minds, for those lungs out there, every single creature that has lungs to breathe with in the water, outdoors, indoors, in your own home, every single thing now is asking for us to clean up our act individually watching our sugar intake watching our stress individually taking personal responsibility to even look in the mirror let your child look in the mirror look at how beautiful God made you appreciate your lungs appreciate your life and appreciate that which you have the opportunity to do with you and your family now which is to be together and to love each other. Fear not, for money will come. This is a social situation. You remain healthy. You breathe deeply and profoundly without fear, so long as you're not around anyone with the coronavirus. Please, take care of yourselves now. Now is the time to meditate. and say your prayers. Amen.